Hey guys, today I'll be teaching you how to get the Lightmatica mod. Lightmatica is a type of schematic mod, it's like the leading schematic mod, so yeah, let's get into it. So the first thing you're going to do is go to the first link in the description and go through the add focus page and then download the universal jar. From there, press keep because it's a save file. And then we are going to go to this next one called Molly Lib. I think I'm saying it right, but from there, we are just going to scroll down and go to the 1.20.1 version. We're just going to press that and press the download button. After 5 seconds, your download will start. It's going to say, it's a not safe file, it's safe, press keep of course. Next, we're going to go to Lightmatica. Same exact thing as before, scroll down, press it, and the download button. Wait our 5 seconds. And it's done. It's going to say not safe, it's safe. And from there, we're just going to drag all three of those onto our desktop just to make it a little easier. And we are just going to run first the fabric installer. So run it with Java, right click it, press open with, and yeah, or you can just double click it if you already have it installed with Java. Then we're going to press install. And it should look like that. If it doesn't, it's because you haven't run Minecraft 1.20.1 alone yet. If To do that, you just run it, the vanilla version, and then just close out of it once you're in. That's all you have to do. And this next step is completely optional. Press the Fabric API button it has on that little screen and download it. It's optional, but like you don't need it to work Lightmatica, but there's been lots of people who said theirs didn't work and Fabric API helped. Not everyone that it didn't work for, but it helped. So might as well, you know, you don't have to now, but if you want, you can go back and get it later. And we're just going to save that to my downloads folder. And then I'm just going to drag this onto our desktop to make it a little easier. We have no need for the fabric installer. Now you can get rid of it, delete it, whatever. And now we're just going to run our Minecraft launcher. Once you're in, it should just be there right away fabric in the top, bottom left as you can see just for me but if it's not just go to installations and make sure you have modded checked as you can see if i uncheck modded it's gone but if i check it it's there but if it's still not there for whatever reason go to new installation and just type in fabric and as you can see it will say fabric and then 1.20.1 or whatever version at the end and from there we're just going to press that folder button right there and it should open up your dot minecraft folder and then you're just going to go to your mods folder well if you don't have a mods folder i'm just going to delete mine to show you just right click and make a new folder and just name it mods mods all lowercase and from there we're just going to open up the folder and drag fabric api lightmatica and molly lib i don't i'm sorry i don't really know how to say it i keep forgetting it but that's all you have to do and now we can close it and just press play on fabric and once we're in there you should be able to tell right away that it's working because on the bottom left it will say whatever version you're running fabric and modded but now we're just going to join a single player world and i'm just going to join this world so you this works on like multiplayer servers all that it's banned on some servers because it kind of gives an unfair advantage you have to check the server rules but it's not like a cheat you know like a cheat client um but yeah as you can see when you're in there's no really big signs that you're in but to open up the menu press m and when you have the menu open you can see there's configuration you can load your schematics right there and you, just all these options you can choose from and do your stuff with. But if you don't know how to use this, I will link a just a basic guide with commands and stuff like that on how to use it. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. If this was helpful to you, 
please like or subscribe or both helps me out so yeah see ya